What's up everyone, Matt here. So I just kind of wanted to go over that uh, meeting that Praveen had invited me to and kind of tell you kind of what had happened, what we could all kind of went over. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try and be brief, you know, I can be kind of long-winded sometimes. Um, but ultimately, the, the takeaway that I had from that was they definitely hear us when, we, when we're saying that we have, you know, these problems. Um, the one thing that was uh, pointed out and, suggest and suggested was, um, so, I, I, like right now, when you, uh, when you make a new bot, right, if I make a new event, I make a new process with new tasks, all of those things are created over in the other tabs, and I can go and I can play with those and rename them and, you know, all that whatever over there. Um, so, you know, it seems like part of the friction with the new thing with the new system is that and you know whatever um goes along with that and so uh what they're gonna try what they're moving on next to now is they're gonna create a way to where you could have like the 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 pro version if you will where it's like it is now where you can split everything out into its individual component parts so you can you know mix and match if you want to do it in that more of a complicated way but then they're gonna have like a, a streamlined way a, you know a basic I don't even know what you want to call it a simple version to where it's the same thing it's the same stuff but instead of creating a new process and a new task you know in the different tabs it's just gonna be inside the one thing so it'll be kind of like the, the way that workflows and reports were where you went inside there and you had like the event trigger space and you did whatever and then you had you know the tasks where you could put the different ones and you know, it was all inside the one thing they're gonna do something like that um, and you know maybe that'll kind of smooth out some of the the friction we also went over some of the just like um, quality of life issues that I've, I've come across where like if I create a new task it doesn't take me to the new task so I press the new button and nothing happens and I'll do it again and do it again, do it again, do it again. And so I'll have like 20 new tasks when I eventually go back and find them. Or uh, just little things like that, you know what I mean? So like I, we went over things like that. Um, and then there was a couple of bugs that I'm working with right now where um, in some production apps that I have, I was trying to take some workflow things that we had and convert them over to the automation side. And I was running into problems with um, some, some bugs, some errors. And so we really dove deep into that and uh, I've been going back and forth with both Dan and Prithpal um, and I even drug Alexi into this. Um, and so yeah, no, they're, uh, they're on it. And uh, Praveen, I hope he forgives me, I can't remember, he stressed that he was like, the thing that we, the, like the three core concepts or the three key focuses we have with automation is one, it's gotta be like the same thing or that at least you can do in workflows and two it's got to be like frictionless for well, the advanced people who know how to use the platform who are expecting when I do XYZ I'm expecting to get ABC on down the line so it needs to work for people all across the board and there's a third one I can't fucking remember my bad um, <laughs> but anyway so uh, yeah that's what uh, that's kind of what we went over and we're gonna have some more um, they, they've uh, invited me to some follow-up um, meetings next week where we can kind of go over some stuff and yeah so they're listening don't don't get discouraged don't don't think that they're not listening to us or whatever um, it's it's very much on their minds to to get the UX and the functionality and everything figured out because if we just step step back, you know, and we think about what they're doing, um, you know, there's some things that like I haven't even investigated, and few people probably have, like the ability to recall, like to pass values um, from like a process, and it'll do whatever, and then it'll have a result, and then you could use that result elsewhere, like take this piece of data call a process, whatever the result of the process is, then move on with it. Just things like that. Things where it's like we have conditional branching inside the, the automations that we can do, where it's more than just are the things inside the slice uh, and is the status 
whatever. You know what I mean? It's we can now we can do that, but then we can throw in like after you do that, have another branch and maybe wait for other people. And it's like and and we'll be able to like call other automation bots from one app to another. So like we could create an app that's just like nothing but automations. So it has all the craziness there. And we have like a public, you know, display app or whatever that's really simple and super fast. And all the work's done on this. Anyways, so it's like all of these really cool interconnected things are coming down the line. It's just growing pains, you know what I mean? But thankfully they're listening to us and yeah. So anyways, that's my, sorry, that's my rant. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. I uh, hope to see you in the community, everybody. See ya.